creativity my hobby. You know, I make this I make this up as I go along. I might wake up in the morning and change all of these recipes and they'll taste just as good. I have to I move out of the spirit on how I feel and what my money looking like when I'm running to them whole food stores. Normally when I do my roasted, I try not to use corn because corn dries out. So, you can either use either or, but I try not to use them. But most of my clients love the corn. And the potato is the staple behind roasted corn. Mm, must be good. It's gone. Oh, girl, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And, and I found even with my children and with uh, younger people, when I serve food like this, especially in this format, there's, I wait till people are really, really hungry before I introduce it. Because if somebody's eating somewhere else, then they have an option. But this food it makes you feel so good. Instead of making you feel sluggish, you can eat this and become energized. Now, what were you saying about when you cater the food, you only do it in, in these sizes because that way people won't overeat? Well, yada, I do yada, it yada. in this size so people will not overeat. And I also do it in this size because it's more economical for people to purchase this from me. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so what would a size like that cost? Well, it depends on what's in it, but oh. usually a size of this size, this would be $1.50. That is the cost of a hamburger. Yes, it is. And when I do my 8-ounce size, I charge $5, and my 12-ounce size is $7, and my, uh, my yeah, my 32-ounce my is, you know, 10, it just goes up. I do size, I do 8, 16, and 32. Oh, okay. And what is that you're eating? Raw This is the, uh, the chili, it's great. What is that? Delicious. It's delicious, delicious okay? And I love it. Chili. Everything I've eaten is just really good. It's great. But I'll be back at 7 o'clock. Continue. Yeah, I enjoy this. This is heaven. I done found. I done found the promised land. We got to show folks. Y'all say I want to go ahead and come with me. Okay. Come with me. I'm gonna show you how to get there. It makes me feel wonderful because for years we've been talking about doing this and doing this and starting to but come see, together. But also, black folks are visual people. That taste, that one, and the diabetic one. When they see that, they say. This is phenomenal. They say, this is, and you see in the episode, here the girl they're talking about, the guy, just the guy that did the documentary, went in and did it. He, he didn't take, wasn't taking no medication at all. What was the name of the tape? The tape was uh, Black Food Talk. 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 Black Food it uses, you don't believe it. <laughs> what is a compass reading a compass reading is a wonderful new technique that we have we can actually put your hand on a on a cradle and it's fed into the computer and what it does is it reads your impulses 76 impulses from your body and gives us an idea of what your body prefers to work on what part of your body organs and systems it prefers to start with. Wow. That's what we're doing. So what are you doing we have that. that hmm? What are you going to do that? You have to be uh, physical and good health to do massage. Right. And if you're not in good health, then that's why I come in here because I can explain to you how that you can improve your health. Yeah, you know. So out of my course, you got a lot of people going into 
health-oriented counseling and hanging the old signs out and uh, talking about some of the things that they heard me talk about in the class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that I have to talk about in order for cleansing to take a place, in order for health improvement to take place, we have to remove the old stuff. And that's what Berlina Baker comes in. Right. It has to be removed from right. the body. You know, we can't sweat it out. You can't wish it out. You right. can't dream it to go away. <laughs> it, has, right. it has to be removed. That's right. And the only way we've got to remove it is simply wash it out. Right. And the more we wash it out and we put Thank new you. stuff in, and when you put new stuff in, the new stuff can get a better hope if the old stuff is gone. But oftentimes, if we don't remove the old stuff, it will continue to create chaotic problems with a conflict with the new stuff. You know. Now, better blood circulation, uh, one of the benefits of massage, better blood circulation, has to take place. And in some cases, we got uh, varicose veins and we got difficulties with the blood moving through the body. Right. So if the blood is not moving through the body, you can eat all the good food you want. But if it's not moving, the lymph can't move it, so this food here would just sit and sit. Because it has to get in the screen, to get in the blood, to get in the cells. And that's where the massage part, the massage part come in. Mm -hmm. We manually, we manually just push the blood through. Wow. We're pushing the blood with our hands. Wow. With the oil, we just push the blood. Wow. And the blood goes into the heart, it's pushing. And as it goes to the heart, the heart pumps it down. Mm -hmm. So it's a process of rhythmic and methodically and systematically pushing the blood through the body. Now, when we push the blood through the body, the blood, as we sit now, is in our uh, lower extremities. We all in this room here are suffering from poor blood circulation. Mm -hmm. We got varicose veins and broken spider web veins and all kind of vein problems. And the problem is the blood is sitting there, you can't move. It's pressing against the wall of the vein. Mm -hmm. Only exercise huh? doesn't do it either. If you jump around, that I help a little Some, bit. Some, but you got a massage. Right, right. So but see, I'm a masseur, and I'm going to tell you about massage. Oh. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if you tell me, so I know a better way to increase my blood circulation is stand on my head. Mm -hmm. I said, well, that better work. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm selling massage. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to stand on your head, uh, that will help. Mm -hmm. But. It's a good possibility that if you stand on your head, you're going to eventually break your neck. Oh, wow. I mean, the other, you start to go one way or the other one day. Oh, okay. you know? But on my massage table, uh, there's no way for you to break your neck. Oh, okay. So you do this in your home? Huh? You do this in your home? I normally do it in my home. I do it wherever you invite me out to do it. Okay. Yeah. If you want to volunteer to come on Saturdays and let them learn of you. We'll volunteer to go into the class. <laughs> Let them learn on her. <laughs> oh, you'll practice on you. <laughs> Saturday, Saturday is not a good day because that'll be the first day of the class. Mm -hmm. But if you come around about the second or the third day, those students who's there practicing will love to have you because once I get them fired up, they are looking for somebody to work on. You. <laughs> <laughs> once I get them fired up, they just say, "Oh, I'll work, work on you." They, in fact, they might want to offer you some money to work on. You. <laughs> 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 They're trying to develop these skills, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. and they need a body. Is this mm -hmm. different than the property? And different ones? Huh? Is this well, a little bit different than the property? That's very different. Mm -hmm. The property is, is we're trying to address the ill on the practice. They're trying to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. A massage therapist person is trying to improve your health. Mm -hmm. May you be a small child, or may you be a 350 pound truck driver. A massage therapist is trying to solve, trying to make you healthier, not trying to solve a problem. But if you do get massage on a regular basis, whatever you're suffering from, it has to improve. Mm -hmm. It has to improve mm -hmm. because of the improving of the blood circulation. And the arthritis is an early stage of rigor mortis because you start the stuff is getting stiff and tight. And when people get totally rigor mortis, they dead, it, right? But people, they get to the point that stuff is immobile. Immobile. Yes. So we need to look at that. This isn't something that you have to live with because when people get arthritis, we first start getting them off of sugar. We start getting them into a lot more water. We get them into plant-based eating and a lot more movement, massage, movement, you know, all kinds of things. And you start to see it begin to, 
to disappear. Rather than have knee replacements and yeah. knee replacements. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard of. We live in a society where they let you get stuff, let it get worse and worse and worse so they can make more and more and more money. Right. And then we end up tearing up, cutting up the body, the wonderful, magnificent, brilliant body that the Creator has given us. Right. And we end up cutting it, whacking it up. It's just like a person whacking. They don't even know how to cut a piece of fabric. Whack, 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 whack. And then you, it's not as good. Whatever they give you back is not as good as what you started with, right? That's right. So the body, and this is what I want you to go with, with the body is totally correctable. It can cure itself of anything. That's right. The only reason why we don't know is some things we don't know yet. But it's coming. Because the Creator does not make anything that's junk, anything the Creator made. I mean, just like you didn't have to go to the doctor to know when to grow your arm and when to grow your eye, did you? <laughs> so if you grow a body, don't you think that that intelligence is in there to repair it also? That's right. Wow. So, so we've got to get another way of thinking, and we've got to talk to other people. I was, we came today, and we called this a brilliant body because... We work with uh, Nature Sunshine, and there are three things. I just want to say this before we go. There are four things that we need to look at. The first thing we need to think about is cleansing the body. We have a product that's called Clean Start. Clean Start is like the 90-day cleansing program, but everybody needs to clean, clean, clean. Whenever you buy a new house, what's the first thing you do? Clean it before you move in. When your refrigerator gets to stinking and it gets full of stuff, what do you do? Clean it. Yeah. The next thing we need to do after we clean, some people need to immediately start working on weight loss. We need to, at this point, get to the point that everybody is at optimum weight. Yeah. And most of us got a little bit to lose, some people got a little bit to gain, but we want to be at optimum weight. Our first lady has said, get it together, black folks, hasn't That's she? Right. Mm -hmm. Hasn't she? Mm -hmm. yes. Wouldn't it be wonderful? that when the election came, all black people were at their right side. Wouldn't that be something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> be Let's something. think some things. Like I keep telling people, next month is Black History Month. We are celebrating 150 years of being free from slavery. Did you all know that? Mm -hmm. 150 years of being Let's make some positive history. So now, in 1962, that's when Dr. King, all the people were doing the marches. Here it is, 50 years later. Let's make some positive changes so that we attack some of the problems, the violence, the overweight, the sickness, we need to get rid of that so that we can have some new history. Wouldn't it be wonderful to say that in Chicago in 19, I mean 2012, all the black people got together and got their bodies together. Wouldn't that be something? Mm -hmm. And we could do yes. it, couldn't we? Remember yes. when Mama Hawk used to talk about doing drive-by Columbus? Simply anybody got enough money? I'm going to buy you a machine and you can drive by and every time you see somebody get a Kalani, snatch your head and give them a Kalani. You got a thing that'll go, boom, I'm going to clean it out. And gets too crazy. She she's waiting to get rich enough to buy yeah. me a drive by client so I can spot people on the street, boom, get them. But the next thing is the weight loss. I say that. Some people don't want to deal with weight loss next. You might want to look at the body systems. Nature Sunshine is divided into 12 systems. I mean, excuse me, 10 systems. So that some people need to do their circulatory system, some people need to do the glandular, some people need structural, some people need the liver. But I was going to be able to do that, but none of the equipment is working. But we do have a pencil and paper exercise also where you can decide which system you need to work on. But we want to do the body system so that we can get it. I say that it takes anywhere from three to seven years to build a totally new body, completely healthy. But if you work on your body systematically every day, do the things that are right, feed it the pot, you can be healthier than you've ever been in your life. Does that make sense? Yes. Amen. It makes sense. We have, yeah. and we are extremely gifted because we're some 